Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a pretty sweet spot. Wow, look at this boat. It's amazing. It's made out of metal. Well, it's made out of rust at this point, but it looks pretty cool. Wow, what what a really what an awesome place this is. I mean, I'd like to to go on this beach. It's a beautiful beach too. I mean, that's the crazy part. You just look how, look how nice this beach is, and you get to see the boat. Don't touch it though. It'll probably get cut and you know have to you know get tetanus shots. Where are we? Well, my guess is we are in Queensland, Australia. Where specifically? I don't know. What about this island? What about Fraser Island? I bet you were there. Wow. Okay, I was, uh, you know, I knew it was in Queensland, but I wasn't expecting us to be this close. Why did I know it was in Queensland? Because in the bottom right-hand corner, it said Queensland, Australia. Uh, but uh, Fraser Island, I didn't expect us to be, you know, I didn't expect it to be there. But hey, 60, 15, hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location and... What a location this is. We find ourselves on the rocky shores between this big, perhaps, island, and, well, maybe not, and this, perhaps, island. Now, I think it's a lot more likely that this thing over here uh, is an island, although you never know. I never know what the islands are. You know, you can never really tell from looking at them, but uh, we've got this as well. And so let's just take a look at these rocks. I mean, these are volcanic rocks, I believe. Well, there you go, and we've got some nice creamy blue water, some nice skies, some nice trees, and uh, plenty of things uh, to make this one of those classic daily challenge locations. And what is the daily challenge? Well, that is where it is up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes. But there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming the day's top geo-guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in today's daily challenge. Aw, oh, no, not the daily challenge, the main section of today's video. And today's main section is brought to us by No Name. That's right, No Name, thank you so much for sending this challenge in. This challenge has a theme, it's Europe. We're gonna be in Europe today. Checking out European cities, so thank you so much, No Name, for sending this one in. If you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do, look down in the description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. I'll see you finally to this one, so you can play along yourself. So today we start off in our first European city. Which one are we going to be in? All right. I am not sure. M-K-O-V-V. -V. Mm, that, uh, that is interesting. What about this big van? Sometimes these things really help. Dot RS. Balkan Express. All right. So Balkan Express something something dot RS. Well, what country would be RS? Dot RS. I mean, you know, how am I looking down over here at the uh, at the Adriatic? I don't know. Um, what are Balkan? Balkan. Where is that again? What countries would that be? Uh, I don't really know, actually. Huh, that is uh, really interesting. Uh, geez, I don't know where we would be. But looking at uh, looking at this over here. Is there anything, is there any country that leaps out at me? What country would be RS? Wow. Um, I'm really not sure. I don't know which one would be RS. Well, uh, that looks like it says, hmm, interesting. That looked like it said S something as the first letters of the, uh, as the first letters of the, uh, the, the little, uh, sort of code there on the license plates. Wow, very interesting. So should we go this way or shall we go uh, this way? Balkan. Isn't that a region? What region is that? It's not... I I'm really not sure actually what region that is or why it's called that. Well, I mean, there are going to be a lot of reasons why it's called that. But if I were to assume where we were, I mean, you know, these over here, similar kind of name, Baltic countries. You get these ones over here. He extends a few more. Uh, but then, you know, Balkans, is that would that be like around here or something like that? You know, maybe. 
maybe it would be there. Um, I, I'm really not sure. We're in Europe, though. And that, in as to where we are specifically, I really don't know. Dot RS. Why do I not know right off the bat where RS is? Or what country that is? Hmm. I really don't know. I mean, uh, it's it's not it's not Romania. I know that much. Okay, interesting. Looking at it, you can see there's definitely some Cyrillic going on. And if we go straight forward, we can see that says like PS. Interesting. Does it really say PS? What country would PS be? I really have no idea. Or SP or I, I don't, geez, I really don't know where we are. Uh, that is uh that is definitely interesting. We go down this way. I mean, you know, could we be in Serbia? I guess we could be in Serbia. It's possible. Is that really where I think we are? Is there enough Cyrillic for us to really be there? I mean, I, I'm not sure. Let's go down this way, see if there's anything that we can see. The, what about this van? That van doesn't tell us anything. And what about uh, what about this down this way? I, I don't recognize the language. That's my main issue, is I just don't recognize what language this is in. And that's really not helping me. Dot RS. I really don't know what country RS is going to be. I mean, what country do I think RS is going to be? RS. I mean, it's not Romania. It's not RS. Um, would be RS could be R could be Republic. And what would S be? Slovenia? I mean, it could be that. Or it could be Slovakia. That would make sense. Or it could be Serbia. So I only think the S is the important part in there. So, but I really don't think it's Serbia because of the language. So which one of these other ones do I think it is? I guess I'm going to have to go with, uh, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to go with uh, Slovakia on this one. Where are we? Uh, let's go and say we're right here. The answer, it was Serbia, really. I always figured Serbia is having a lot more Cyrillic than that. It's really interesting. I mean, it crossed, you know, I was kind of thinking of it, but I don't know. I mean, just the, the I always figured there'd be a lot more Cyrillic than than there was. It's all you see whenever you look at Serbia on the maps is you just see Cyrillic as the, well, you, you feel, I guess, I felt it was the main language. I really thought it was. Or the main writing utensils. Utensils. That's a really wrong word for sure. Uh, the main, you know, the, the main way it was written, but I guess it's not. Or maybe in some areas it's not. Although I would have thought in this area it'd be written more like that and over here it'd be written less. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, 2364. I mean, that made a lot of sense. I, I thought it was the most likely candidate, but I don't know. I also thought it was unlikely. What about this? Where could this... Oh, Jesus. Where could this be? I don't know. We're in Europe? Are you sure? You sure this is a European city? All right, well, I'll take your word for it. What European city is this going to be? Well, I don't know. How European is Moldova? I, I think we are in Moldova. I don't know what the weather is like in Moldova at all, but it's where I'm going to guess, or maybe Belarus. Yeah, let's guess Belarus instead, actually. Uh, where? I don't know. Just outside of Minsk is going to be where I'm going to guess. I really have no idea. But I'm going to guess Belarus because I think it's probably the most likely scenario here. Uh, Ukraine, actually. They're in the Ukraine. Oh, wow. We're right over in uh, Pripyat. So right near uh, Chernobyl. Well, that's something interesting. 2604. What about this location? This is going to be... Um, 
This is going to be Iceland. No, it's not. Well, actually, yeah, I think it is actually going to be Iceland. I don't know why I said no when I saw the mountains. No, it's not going to be Iceland. We all know that in Iceland there are no big giant mountains. Uh, so, yeah, clearly clearly that's, that's sort of what it's going to be. Um, yeah, I don't think that I don't think it could really be anywhere else. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, not 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 really much that it could be. Uh, I mean, just look at it, right? It's absolutely stunning. Let's just look at this, right? The grass climbing up all the way to the side here. I mean, there really is no one around you when you're in a place like this. I mean, there's some people around you somewhere, but not too many people. Oh man, what a beautiful place this would be to live. Well, I don't know if I don't know if it'd be you know that. Well, yeah, I mean, I have to do different stuff, right? You can be on the computer all the time. Look at what's outside your door. I mean, people are always telling you, you know, parents are always telling you when you're a kid, oh, you know, go outside and play. You know, yeah, sure, okay, what is there to do outside? You know, the sidewalk? Oh, great, I'll just walk right on that. Look at this place, right? Jeez, this is the kind of place, though, where you would, like, could die outside pretty easily, you know, by like from, like, exposure. You know, weather turns bad, you're stuck outside. Oh, you are screwed. All right, where do I think we are? I think we're in Iceland, and I think we are... Uh, on our road down, mm, that's hard to tell. I, on our road up north, but I think we're like around, uh, like over here or something like that. No, on the road down south, right over here, uh, 2677. All right, what about this place? Where are we going to be now? Is this going to be... Well, there's a lot of places where this could be. Is this going to be like um, Bulgaria? Is this going to be Russia? It is Russia. All right. Is this going to be regular Russia or somewhere else in Russia? Is this going to be like uh, this area over here in Russia? And I think that's actually pretty likely that it is there. Also, I mean, we could be, you know, not there. I mean, that that's that's possible as well. But really think that that's where we are? Not sure. There you go. Let's move down now. We have to return to our location. There's nothing over there. What about over? No, there's nothing down there either. All right, let's go down this way and see if there's anything to see. Um, is anything to see this way? I would say it did say that this was a European challenge, which means if it's over here, then that's fine. But if it's over here, well, we only have like a part of of Russia to play with. We can't go. We can't go the whole way. But for whatever reason, I feel like we probably are in this area over here. I really feel, I mean, it would look very different than other cities and stuff like that. It's actually, you know what, I kind of feel like this is just, no, I don't know if it's just Moscow or anything like that. I really think we're over there. We really think that that's it. I mean, not really. I don't really feel like, no, no, I don't feel like that's the case at all, actually. Where do I think we are? I think we are in... I really don't know where to guess. I think Volgograd, actually. That's where I'm feeling that we are. Yeah, there you go. 60-37, there you go. That was a good guess. We needed that. We needed that to boost our scores here. And then finally, we find ourselves in... Bulgaria. I, I just say Bulgaria because I feel like I've said it like for all locations so far. Um, well, except for the uh, except for the Iceland one. That RS. So we would be in Serbia again. That RS. Well, we learned that that was uh, one for Serbia. Um, I bet you the R stands for Republic, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it does not stand for that. But yeah, looking at it again, it's very surprising. You know, I, from, you know, from what uh, Google Maps was telling me, I really thought Cyrillic was the way to go when it came to Serbia. But I guess today I'm learning that it really isn't. 
I mean, we are, we're, we are seeing regular places here. And I mean, just take a look at what we're seeing. You know, this place over here is not, nothing, nothing really seems to be telling me that, uh, you know, everything is written in Cyrillic. It's not. And that actually comes to a big surprise. Well, there you go. Wow, look at that. I mean, a big basket full of meat. You got sausages and all sorts of other stuff. Dot, uh, ls dot rs. I don't know what the ls stands for. But dot rs, that would be, uh, that'd be Serbia. So, any other insight as to where specifically this is going to be? Well, let's go look at this sign here. There's a few signs right behind us. Right there. Well, what does that say? Um, not much. The hill of Kamenica. Do I see a place called Kamenica? No, I don't. Well, then let's guess up here this time. Let's guess like uh, right around here. The answer was no. You were all the way down here. Uh, right, in, right in. Oh, okay, right around the city again. Uh, Niz. I don't know if it, that's how it's pronounced, but there you go. 2706. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, where were we today? I mean, I didn't do too good. 16388. Started off in none other than Serbia, but I guessed it was Slovakia, even though I'm pretty sure this is SL and SK. Um, I guessed, because I, I just didn't believe it was Serbia based on what we were seeing, but it was. It was Serbia. I learned my lesson, though. Uh, next time, I guessed Belarus, but we were indeed uh, in the Ukraine. Then we went to Iceland. Then... We went to Volgograd in Russia, and finally back to Serbia. A little bit better of a guess that time, but still not that great. 16388, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know I certainly have. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat I'm gonna like, rate, comment and subscribe I love watching Aether vids all of the time Thanks for dropping by and spending the time Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives Oh yeah Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats Oh yeah Have a good one